before I start the video, guys, go ahead, give it a like, drop any comments down below, and subscribe so you don't miss my videos. Uh, my data got corrupted last week, so that's why there was no video. Had a whole vlog filmed, but I just couldn't get the footage back. Some, uh, some just crappy stuff. Not fun. I don't like it. videographer Haven's brother we are currently unhooking our bedding spreader off of the hydro and we're gonna hook it up to the 544 we got to put straw on the berry patch so the, the wheel the very same berry patch you saw the plant yeah so the wheel spacing on um, on that 544 is set up for the berry rows and this one is not so that's why we're using that tracker so all right pull her away I'll get that hooked up in a minute. This tractor, actually, my grandpa bought this brand new for my store. Forget what year it was. She's a little cold. It'll do that. Is that just because it just got rebuilt? No, it's because it's cold. Oh. So yeah, PTO is actually disengaged. I'll engage it. Disengage it. And that doesn't help. Right, so we're just gonna shut the tractor off so that quits spinning. No, she'll fire up. She's warm now, so. Here, I can hook that up. Sure? Yeah. Well, no, you can, I guess. That's nasty. He's got the right gloves. I and spin the PTO with here. Yellow. Uh, we're we're switching over the trackers right now. All right. Dad's ready for us, I guess. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Dad does not like waiting. All right. Keep everything clean. I, mean, I gotta go fuel this up. Okay. Someone else has been sticking stuff in there too. So we'll go ahead. 
strawberries and then lists off all the things that we have to get set up before we do strawberries. So my thought was today, all right, we'll go ahead, you know, start cleaning up the spreader, get the wrap, net wrap off of the beaters, and, you know, start preparing, get straw all here so we're all ready. But, nope. Dad's like, it's go, go, go time. So we have to do all the preparation stuff and actually cover them with mulch today. This is a new lean-to we put up. We parked the spreader in here and the sand shooter tractor. So I have an extension cord here running all the way down out the underneath right there. You can see where the light is into where our old warming room used to be because that used to be a fresh pen the end extension cord is the one that lights up so you know it's on so that because sometimes we'll come in someone will bump it a cow will bump something it'll unplug and we won't know but this one has the light on it so we know it's getting power so at a glance we know if it's plugged in and if the extension cord is working just another fail safe Do I like the Escape? I do. I do like it. It's very, very nice. I forgot safety first. Sorry, Cole. These are the strawberries. There's going to be a lot of food out here next year. Dogging more bales. So we're gonna call that good. Drive down there and meet you down there. Well, I grab a bale, follow me. Okay. What the ratio is? It's all about the ratios. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we've never mulched this field before. Up in a mini loader. When a mommy and daddy payloader really love each other, we don't know how far a bale is gonna last us. I'm guessing maybe halfway down this row here. So the reason we mulch is to first give it some protection, some insulation in the winter, although that's not needed. Um, but since this is the first year these have wintered anything, then we're putting mulch on them. It also keeps the berries a lot cleaner and it does a little bit of weed suppression as well. So you can see already we've made it a couple hundred feet. And put the bale in, back up. Park.
working up a little sweat. There's not a whole lot I can do. The rows kind of end here, straight east and west, and there's a little corner here. It's shaped kind of like a triangle, this portion, and then from like here down it's straight to the road. So we don't have much turnaround room over there. There's a bunch of deer running in that field across the road. That's cool. How neat is that? All right, making progress. We're maybe, say a fourth of the way done, probably. So I pick up a bale whenever I'm gonna head across this uh, this is a hay field, it's dormant right now, so I'm not hurting it too bad by driving on it. But um, the reason I have a bale is because this mini loader has a function called float. I don't know if that's what they call it. I liken it to if you're driving down the road or your driveway with a cup of coffee and you keep your arm nice and relaxed and so that your coffee stays where it needs to be to not spill. I kind of liken it to that. But the thing is, it doesn't really work if you don't have something heavy to pick up. So if I were to come across this field, then it's quite bumpy. You can't really see it because the GoPro has stabilization on it. But it's pretty bumpy right here at the end of the field where they turned around and everything when they were planting. But uh, if I have a bale in here, then the hydraulic system in the loader loosens up a little bit and it just kind of floats and absorbs a lot of the impact. So that's why I'm picking up a bale whenever I go across the field. It makes my ride a little more comfortable. Abrams here with another load. See, some of this straw is from a different type of combine that doesn't cut the straw up quite as nicely as what we have here. Dad had set aside a certain amount of straw for these strawberries that was combined with a uh, certain type of combine that chops the chaff up very small. So it works really good for berries because you don't want clumps because in the springtime, the clumps of straw can choke out the strawberries, not allowing the sun to get to them. How's it going, Abram? It's going good. After the first couple passes, Dad comes up to me and says, the sheet in this tractor sucks. Oh, that. Here, I'll find you a spot. Yeah. out here.
Seth. Where'd he go? He's right there. I am loading him at this end because I got that pile behind me. That way, one of us doesn't have to run back and forth, back and forth. So I just loaded him and then he just pulls a little Yui because that's the trail that divides this variety from that variety. So he has enough space to just go around. Good stuff. The last pass. Dad's taking the last pass across the field. That's a lot of straw. We got a lot left over too. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. How's it going everyone? Uh, just popping in here at the end to let you guys know that I, well, you might know this already, but if you don't know, I am an artist. Artist? That sounds weird. I, I draw things good. And I got a lot of drawings on a site called Society6. It's where I can put my drawings and they put it on all sorts of different stuff. Like clocks and coffee mugs and comforters. Pe so many people have bought this comforter. It's insane. Like probably 15 people. It's ridiculous. With that drawing on it. Anyways. There's a bunch of different stuff on here. Um, I have lots of different drawings. There's a... Uh, Farmall Super M, that comes on everything. I mean, there's phone cases, all sorts of different stuff that you guys can check out um, on there. And the reason I'm telling you guys, I don't plug it in my videos too much, but today is their Cyber Monday sale. Everything is discounted. So, like this coffee mug, usually 17 bucks. Today, it's 12 $12. That's pretty... Anyways, I wanted to plug it here at the end because if you guys have been looking at that or you want to get anything off of my store, everything is discounted today and ships for free. If you guys want to get some early Christmas shopping done, these go through um, today, which is Sunday. Uh, if, if I don't post this today and I post it on Monday, then they go through all Cyber Monday and then the discounts start getting less and less throughout the week. So if you guys can go check that out, that'd be sweet. Um... Or if you just want to see my art for free, you can follow me on Instagram. Again, like, share the video, comment, all that good stuff. Leave notifications on. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day.